just going to end to go out and read it while I have my Starbucks coffee so I can catch up on what's happening in Toronto and see if what if their view of Toronto is the same as mine. But here we have the next hot neighborhoods. So of course I grab this and leafing through it, we find a surprise, surprise, Greenwood Coxwell, West Oak Trails, Rockcliffe Smith, Mimico Junction, Port Perry, Schoenberg. They're trying to give us places that are where you can still find a half decent home for under a million dollars. In other words, <laughs> the real estate market has gotten so interesting that now we have to tell people, look, here's where you can find a half decent home, not a decent home. Here's where your best, we're going to give you 20 places where you can find a half decent home for under a million. And those of you who are still waiting to purchase in real estate because, well, Carl, I don't know, real estate might not be the best investment. Well, as I say, it's reverse buyer remorse. One of the places here, and the one that jumps out of me, is number 12, O'Neill in Oshawa. Let me read to you. Let us read together what it says. So this isn't just Carl talking, which he likes to do a lot. But uh, let us look at um, just what it says here. Um, driving through this pocket of Oshawa, they're talking about O'Neill. You'll think that you're in Rosedale. Now, Rosedale, for those of you who are not from Toronto, Rosedale is one of the more poshy, what the brothers and I may call bougie places in, in Toronto. That's where you go when you have much money and that's where you go to show that you have much money. That's the kind of place if you go canvassing for food for the poor at Christmas, you might have to explain, look, you know, brother, we don't need any tins of caviar. What, the, what we need are jars of peanut butter because their view of the universe is slightly different from what most of us, well, certainly what I have. Anyway, it says, let's go, driving through the pocket of Oshawa, you might blink and think that you're in Rosedale, the stately century-old homes, so these are older homes, on Connaught and Mason. They have a Moorpark air about them. They sell for a fraction of what Moorpark houses fetch. The rest of the neighborhood is a grid of strollable streets with leafy tree canopies and pretty well-kept homes. This is always a sign that you're going to be in an area that is going to escalate in price eventually unless there's some kind of cataclysmic or political cat catastrophe. And it says here that streets on the west side dead end at the Oshawa Golf Course. This is the Go Oshawa Golf and Curling Club, what they say is a green expanse where locals can enjoy the views, buy memberships, etc., etc. There's a trail that runs uh, along a former CN rail line and blah, blah, blah. And what's selling? They said that the average sale price here is $473,000, $580,000, $473,000, $474,000. $400, $474, $474, so under $500,000. And I think this is the only one that's under $500,000. I'll double check. But still under half a million dollars. So you can get a half decent home for half a million dollars instead of just under a million dollars. That makes it a bit more compelling because it's a bit more affordable. Now, they give an example of 173 Center Street North, which is a two-story detached with three bedrooms and two baths. So those are the kind of places that we like, that I like. Those are the kind of places that I recommend. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, two stories. If you can get it in a bungalow, uh, we take that as well. And we would like it to be... As they said, this one they were asking $325,000. This is actually below the average price, which is $473,000 in this area. And this is on Center Street in the O'Neill section of Oshawa. 
So what we're going to do today is take a look, like how can we verify, how can we find out more about this? And what I'll suggest that you do is go to the Carl Walwin website. Now, this is the Carl Walwin website. It's not, it's not a good site, but it is a functional site. Why I say it's not a good site is that it's a template site that is free. So the reason I got this, this, uh, this site is that it's free. Now, notice that you can tell almost immediately that this is not my content because I would never, I'm not Canadian, I'd never say real estate done right. I'd always say real estate done correctly or real estate, you know, this just jars, but it is cheap. It's at the price that I like it. But more importantly, it allows you a Carl Walwyn you can type in here Oshawa, and we can actually search on the Carl Walwin site for prices and examples of this area. So if we go to, uh, for example, listings here, we have already typed in three bedrooms Oshawa, it will actually show you examples of places that we can buy in Oshawa. I capped it out at $350 thousand dollars because we want to keep it in around the range of discussion for 325 so if you have any um, any questions about this go to the site here we have places of 259 thousand dollars 200 thousand these are townhouses but this for example on Albert Street that looks compelling like I like the looks of that so if you like the looks of that 218 329 for sale I mean let's uh, looks like a kind of nice house to me uh, what you do in that case is you can request information so I'll put my call and then Walwyn you put your your full name in put your address minus C Walwyn at gmail.com 647 767-7653. I would like to uh, know more about this. If you want to see it, let's say I'd like to see it on Sunday, this coming Sunday. You put that there. I'd like to see it at 12 o'clock. Then you submit, right? Just this then comes to me. Message has been sent. And we can find out more about 218 St. Albert Street at $329,000, which Toronto Life tells us is one of the best places to purchase if you're looking for the upside. In other words, these are still places that are affordable and that you can get for a good price. Now, here's what I'm doing on my end. Remember that this is not our first rodeo. As a matter of fact, let's go back in time, although it's going to seem a bit anachronistic in that I may actually look older two years ago than... <laughs> I do now. That is not an optical illusion. Well, it is an optical illusion, but it's only because I had a beard then, gray beard, and now I don't. So I appear younger, but I'm actually older and more experienced and less foolish. Let's go back in time if we can. Stay with me. And here we are in South Oshawa. Now it's South Oshawa. So South Oshawa sometimes gets a bad name, but I think it's even a what I'm saying there in this video in 2015, two years ago, and I was admonishing everybody to purchase in Oshawa. For those of you who did, you are very welcome. Go out, buy your Porsche, and invest the extra thousand, hundred thousand dollars that you got after you purchase the Porsche from the buildings and property and land that I asked you to buy. Invest that other 100000 now in the new Oshawa. Keep the place that you're doing because we're only doing it refinance. Remember how it, we showed you how to do that. And let us go now to, uh, now that this is also 2015, this is South Oshawa, which I said gets a bad rap, but in fact has a lot of potential. And this is still available on YouTube, so you can go to YouTube and actually find this. Google South Oshawa, buy now, Carl Walwyn Real Estate, etc. These videos are not supposed to be flashy. They're not supposed to be well-produced. They have a sense of urgency 
and they're very visceral they're very they're very now they're very kind of documentary oriented but here i am at my home office in 2015 that was then and i'm also talking about oshawa so very excited about the upcoming seminar this week that's excited about the upcoming seminar spent some time we spent time on the weekend looking at Oshawa. To kind of isolate some different pockets around the city where we think the upside is going to be greater than some of the other areas. So in, not, in other words, we not only looked at Oshawa, we actually looked at places in Oshawa that where we thought, or well, I thought, the, the upside in those particular pockets would be greater than Oshawa generally. So remember that I promised at least a double-digit rate of return Anywhere in Oshawa, anywhere in Oshawa that you purchased, when I asked you to buy it, you would have, in 2015, you had to have a double rate, digit rate of return, which means 10% the first year, and then 10% the year after that. So it's more than a 20% increase. As I said, the statistics and the references speak for themselves. In spite of that, it goes on to tell you that we looked at places priced from, I think, 125000 Let's see. Potentially, we were able to speak with tenants who told us, uh, shared some of their plans with us. We were able to inspect different units. And what we're going to be doing as well is talking to a mortgage broker. So you're going to be speaking to a mortgage broker, to see what it takes to qualify for something like this. Let me repeat that again. Let me play that back again for those of you who, who may have missed it. This is in 2015, okay? When it's asked you to buy, and the range of prices that we were looking at were, was? 129000 $129,000. That is the same price as the new Porsche that you're going to buy now. You could have purchased a house that would be giving you money month after month, giving you and your family a triumphant life. Or not. You may have thought it was too far. Here it says it's 62 kilometers to Union Station. And one of the areas that we chose as up and coming two years ago was O'Neill because I personally live in a community that one can describe as with strollable streets, leafy tree canopies, and pretty well-kept homes. That area is in Mississauga, it's called Sherwood Forest. And Sherwood Forest is like this. It, places like that will always increase in price. 2015, so here's what we're going to do, because we bring it correct, as it says if you're Canadian. Not correctly, we bring it correct. So if you want to be correct, let's take a look at 173 Center Street. So remember that one of the ways that you could search would be to go to the Carl Walwyn website and get the information there. Do you mind if I have a cup of coffee, a little sip? However, and of course I said put the parameters in, we'll get the properties for you. You can arrange to with me to go and see that property. I actually have a team member out in the East End who will show you that property, even if I can't personally be there with you. And then you can come and I will discuss it personally with you. We have all of the technology so we can go inside. You know how we do it with the virtual tours and the Facebook Live and the Carl Warren Live, etc. Now, what I do, we don't want to expire, is let us go to Durham, Oshawa, and the community of O'Neill. O'Neill, O'Neill, O'Neill. That's what we're going to be looking at. And let us look at what has sold or the activity that has happened in between 300,000 and 340,000 and T minus 90, in other words, in the last 180 days. So this is a site where the real estate agents and brokers, masters of the universe, masters of the financial universe in Toronto, in my view, not Bay Street, but real estate. We will analyze, some of us, what's going on in the market and try and predict 
for our clients what's going to happen next. And so we have Durham, we have Oshawa, we have O'Neill. My favorite, uh, as you know, we want detached. So we come down here, we want detached preferably, and we want anything in that range. And what we find is, submit, we find that we have 16 places that meet this criteria, these criteria. And of course, the most important one in this case, the most important criterion being that of uh, area. So Oshawa, the community is O'Neill, and lo and behold, we have 170 Central Street. You can see the picture here, that's it. It's a two bedroom with a little whatever here. Let's take a look at that. And by the way, tell me if you've ever seen any real estate videos like this before, because I certainly haven't. I've seen, I've seen those real estate videos that say, this is the kitchen. Welcome to 173 Center Street. That's, that's not what we do here. We bring it like I would like to see it, which is hard, visceral, impactful, analytic, to the point, no BS, on your way to work at what? Some people haven't even started work yet, 9 o'clock in the morning, and we're already here, up in full effect at Lakeshore, the Lakeshore office here. We can look at these pictures, and it actually shows you how the inside of that property looked, which you don't get in the, um, in the magazine article. So you come to me, and we're just confirming the reality as we see it with what is portrayed here. Remember, there are two things. First of all, in terms of my investors, the people at O'Neill are going to say, well, wait a minute, Toronto Life has us as being one of the up-and-coming places. Maybe we should increase the price. I'll give you a strategy to deal with that so that we don't overpay for properties in a recommend area mainly because or merely because, who's this guy? Uh, merely because it was a suggestion by Brian, oh, he's a criminal lawyer. Who wrote this, this piece? Anyway, whoever wrote this piece, Steve Kaperman, by Steve Kaperman, uh, just because Steve recommends it doesn't mean that we should overpay for it. So we're still going to be dealing with the reality, and that's one of the good things about Toronto area real estate, is that we have a crucible for data information in the Toronto Real Estate Board, so that we can confirm and verify and build our comfort around what we know the prices should be. So let's close this, and we see here that this place, from what it seems, a place of worship. One of the things about Oshawa is that it seems to me to have more churches per capita than anywhere in the galaxy that I've seen. This include, and I've been in the southern United States. But separate entrance. Notice that. Let me take a look at the thing. It has one kitchen, but uh, it was sold in July. Wow. Listed, so it didn't last very long on the market. Up here, you can see what the taxes are $3,000 over here. And we have central heat. They said century old homes, so that confirms what we know. Uh, let's take a look using the technology that we have actually at Center Street. So this is about where Center Street, let's pull back. This is Oshawa, this is Union Station. So from here to here, they say is 62 miles. Is it 62 miles? 62 kilometers, which is even better. 62 kilometers. 62 kilometers from here to here, giving you a range of an idea of how long it's going to take. And remember that we have, a, uh, we have the GO train that goes from Toronto to Oshawa. So we already have that. Um, that connection made, which means that what? That's about a, a half hour commute from the center of the universe, which is a CN Tower. Now, if we if we if we drill in a little bit here uh, to Center Street, we will see that this section here is uh, 
confirms what we read. This area is the Oshawa Golf and Curling Club, uh, and uh, they use that as a reason why it would be good to purchase here. Even more compelling reason for me is the Oshawa Center, because the Oshawa Center, as you can probably know, as you know from now from my videos on gentrification and what's been happening in Oshawa generally, Oshawa, remember, uh, had, had transformed itself from a manufacturing town into a university town. So there was that kind of gentrification, that kind of push, and the Oshawa Center has changed. And now is a reason why people would move into the area because the Oshawa Center provides jobs as does the, the impact of the different universities that have now chosen Oshawa as their home. Remember that the South Oshawa, which I said sometimes gets a bad name, is further down here. But there are other reasons why we would look at that as well. But if we kind of move into now the... A street view of this you will see this is how it looks from above right this is 173 Center Street North what we're going to do is drill right in here and we are actually going to go on the street so that's where it is on this little block tree lined streets canopied streets backing on to the area here the the green belt here everything looks good let's drill right down now and find the street here it is and as you walk along the street so this is this house this house is this house that house go open your Toronto life you'll see that there then what you're going to do is we are actually going to go to Oshawa Center Street and we're going to take a look around so this is what the neighborhood looks like. I'm not sure who this lady is, but... Center Street, from my view, doesn't look very tree-lined itself. But this is an area where you can purchase a property and where it will rent to carry itself because of the going rentals. But let's take another look and let's take another look around the neighborhood and just see if we can find some other streets that we think may be up our alley. So here is the Oshawa Valley, the Oshawa Valley Botanical Gardens. And I mean, look at these streets. Let's go on Grooms, for example, which is just nearby. And you can do this for yourself. You don't have to take my word for it. Just uh, jump on uh, Google Maps and you can take a look, walk through the neighborhood, decide which streets you, you like. And you'll find out what I'll do is I will actually go back to some of the listings that we had, go back to some of the, the tours that we did of uh, the inspection of homes. Look at this home. Uh, and we can find places that we looked at two years ago and compare them with the prices now because I'm, I can assure you that a lot of these if you've purchased these are solid homes okay this you can tell doesn't have central air conditioning but it's brick construction we're looking for brick a thousand years old we're looking for certain things we're looking for whether the basement leaks we structural damage here we're going to be looking at the roofs etc but by and large these are solid homes that are not going anywhere extremely well made in the time when they knew how to make to know well they they knew how to to make homes we're going to wrap up that part of the discussion very quickly because i know some of you have to get to work it's uh, 10 minutes to nine now and our office is about to open for business of course we're open all the time but remember pick up the toronto life look at this Go to the Carl Walwyn website. Let's see what's happening on Facebook. Um, contact me on Facebook, but go to the Carl Walwyn website. 
uh, you can do your own searches or just say look let's talk put your information in you can contact me there I'll be doing my research on the back end let's look at some more of these properties that sold 72 Corbin Street West sold for 311,000 uh, 294 I mean these look like okay houses this place sold for 330 it's actually for sale now 330,000 so if you want to see this property which actually is only a two bedroom unit now the two bedroom units are selling for 330,000 give me a call we can make an appointment go and see them remember that the the all of the Oshawa pretty well all of Oshawa is also on the Toronto real estate board and as I said I have a team member close to Oshawa, just in the Ajax Pickering area, who will go and show you those properties still under the Carl Walwyn brand. Now this week, I'm, I'm asking for your help. This week, I need, uh, I have a condo that uh, downtown Toronto, which I'm going to be leasing in around the, well, three to $4,000 range. If you have somebody for that, let me know. I have a spectacular, Mississauga condo that is coming up. I've, I've, some of you have already seen the views uh, from that condo. It's amazing. I need a, I need a condo in the a luxury condo in the Toronto downtown core. And what the client says, the, the request of the client is it needs to have a silent, a quiet wow. A quiet wow, which means it has to have a I take that to mean a presence which is not garish, which is a bit more subdued, but still very impressive. They're willing to pay up to $3 million for that. If you have anything like that, $3 million with a view and where the rental can be something in the range of $10,000 a month, I'm very interested. I'm taking, uh, a client has decided to withdraw a townhouse that we had for sale so that's no longer available but uh, as things would have it I have another one in the same complex that's coming up because of a personal matter so they will have to sell and they don't mind me sharing that with you I'm also going to view the most expensive condo with probably the best view I hope in the port credit area this afternoon so stay with me we can go on a virtual tour of that this afternoon I can give you my my views on that and uh, that's it if you have any questions let me know and also remember that even while we're doing this in the Facebook feed when we do the live broadcasts you can actually call me send me a message ask me messages uh, why uh, questions that you may have say on something that was mentioned in here questions that you had from the coffee shop stay with us if you can it's Carl Walwyn go to the website carlwalwyn.com or call me at 647-767-7653 grab a coaster it's Remax 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 remember when I first moved to Remax and I, I alerted all of my clients that is moving to Remax. I said, Carl, I thought you were already at Remax. Strange how branding works. Remax. Listen, there's another thing. I, uh, I had a phone that was stolen, so if you're getting any strange responses or any strange messages, I had a, stone, uh, a Blackberry that was stolen from me, so I'm going to be refreshing all of my contacts. I think I know about 3,000 people. So I'm going to be reaching out to each of you by email and sending you some information about your property or about the street where you live. That's an indication that I'm now reaching out again and refurbishing, re-culling, uh, in some cases, my contact list. So the email that you get will probably say something like, Carl thought that you might be interested in this property and it generally would be a property on your street. If you want, if you don't want information like that, all you have to do is hit, I think it's do not uh, subscribe or leave me alone or get lost. You can hit that button. And
And if you don't get an email from me, it means that I may not have updated information from you. Contact me. Uh, you need This is information you need to know. Because even if you don't need it right now, you need to know it, save it, so that you can access it later. Stay with us if you can. It's 9 o'clock. Gotta go. Time to work. Thank you.